This week marks the 50th anniversary of the real-life Apollo 13 mission all the way back in 1970, so I thought it'd be a good time to revisit the 1995 film Apollo 13. The movie was directed by Ron Howard and stars Tom Hanks alongside Kevin Bacon, Bill Paxton, and Gary Sinise. These four actors make up the team of astronauts of the Apollo 13 mission, although there's actually only room for three crew members, so Kevin Bacon's character initially is just a backup, and eventually he has to replace Gary Sinise's character, who gets exposed to measles through the course of training. And things only get worse en route to their lunar landing, as an incident causes their fuel cell to explode and start leaking oxygen into space. So unlike a movie like First Man, let's say, which follows Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin's journey into space and eventually stepping onto the lunar surface, Apollo 13 is more of a disaster film. Now this movie is based on the actual events, so there's no real over-dramatizing of the situation at hand, and really there's very little action as far as the dilemma that's actually going on. This is more of a troubleshooting kind of movie. It's a movie that showcases how NASA works, that there's not only the astronauts in space, but we have all these people, hundreds, maybe a thousand people, employees of NASA working at Mission Control and working in conjunction with the men in space to find a solution to the problem. The movie actually starts by reminding us that the very first Apollo mission ended in disaster when a fire broke out in the shuttle and killed all the astronauts on board. From then we move on to the success of the Apollo 11 mission, where man first stepped on the moon, and we get to see our characters and their family watch this play out live on television, just like much of America did when that occurred. Now this is a mid-90s movie and a lot of people have seen it, but just in case you haven't, I'm not going to spoil the ending for you. I definitely guarantee you go watch it. This week is the perfect time to do that. I actually already own the film on 4K. It actually looks quite good on the format. The resolution, there's a really definite uptick there, and this movie has a decent amount of visual effects. And they actually hold up quite well even with that increased 4K resolution. A great example of this is during the Apollo 13 launch scene, and we see the rocket on the launch pad going into space. You know, this is all mid-90s visual effects, and it holds up really well even today. And for the scenes that are actually in outer space, things are pretty convincing. The movement of the astronauts as they move through the shuttle, you don't really see any wires or anything giving away how the effects are done. Very convincing movement. You know, there's been newer films that haven't been able to replicate this movement as well as Apollo 13 does. James Horner conducted the music with an appropriately upbeat, patriotic theme that gets us riled up and excited for the crew's successes, but which effectively changes tone and mood when things are not going so well. The film itself was even nominated for Best Picture and was favored to win, but ultimately lost to Braveheart that year. If you haven't seen Apollo 13 in a while, or maybe you've never seen the movie at all before, you can watch it on Prime Video right now, also it's on Hulu, you can pick it up on 4K Blu-ray. Whichever way you watch it, this week is the perfect week to revisit the movie as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 13 lunar mission.